Ohio University has, uh, has, uh, has in place would be possible. For example, through a joint effort with Play Soccer, faculty and staff from Ohio University have joined with youth coaches in South Africa, Ghana, and Senegal. They offer clinics and training sessions to participating countries. In fact, the children in our community of Athens, Ohio, are benefiting from having youth coaches from Africa, specifically Ghana, travel to Ohio University in partnership with the Play Soccer Program to teach clinics and training sessions. Given the results of the World Cup match between Ghana and the United States, I think Americans still have a lot to learn about soccer. I share the example of this sport partnership with you because it is a program designed to improve education, promote health, encourage social integration, and demonstrate the power of sport for development. We envision other opportunities for an Ohio University AUCC partnership, our Global Leadership Center, our African Studies Program, and our Institute for International Journalism have all begun to establish linkages for joint student project work. We would like to see other exchanges take place between our faculty and staff members and students and also between our two institutions. But do you think that building this kind of global community, fostering relationships and building trust among participants to enact change would be possible without communication? Communication is a two-way exchange of ideas. There must be a sender and a receiver. That is why communication is such a powerful tool and is often subject to abuse. Trained professional communicators dedicate themselves to protecting this important medium, to promoting responsibility and communication ethics, and to preserving the true purpose of sharing ideas in a global society. It is clear that Ghanaians value education. Education, and in particular, a higher education, is an important investment for every culture which desires to maintain a prosperous democracy. You were given the opportunity to receive a higher education, an opportunity that is out of reach for many people, not just in Ghana, but all over the world. As the proverb says, Ati Dukamuta Ho, or one pole cannot build a house. Today's commencement represents an important milestone, not only for the graduates, but for the entire community. This important day is one you share with your family, mentors, and friends who have given you support and guidance. I want to take a moment and ask you to please stand, turn to your family, friends, teachers, and mentors, and thank them for the support and encouragement as you pursued your course of study. Please stand and turn to your family and friends and thank them. Feel free to applaud for them. Congratulations, parents, family members, mentors, and friends on this very important moment. Congratulations to the administration, faculty, and staff of this fine institution. And most importantly, congratulations, graduates. Your graduation truly represents what lives within you. Your passion, determination, and hope brought you to this moment. Passion gave you the enthusiasm to pursue a course of study. Determination got you through late, long nights of, of writing, reading, and studying. Hope kept you focused on the greatest reward of this entire experience, your diploma. The question I ask of the graduates is, now that you are receiving your diploma, what will you do with tomorrow? The faculty, staff, and administrators in the college have provided you with the tools you need to succeed in the 21st century global economy, technology, communication, and lifelong learning skills. By integrating technology into learning, you are armed with the knowledge to use the latest technological advances in your field. You will be able to adapt to future innovations that we cannot anticipate today. You have been exposed to new ideas and experiences through internships and a liberal arts education. You have refined your communication skills to fit into the reality of a global society. 
you now have the power to be a leader in the field of communication and serve as a model for all of Africa. What will you do with tomorrow? Looking ahead at the next five or 10 years, you need to make the most of this awe-inspiring opportunity. First, you must have a plan of action, one that supports your dream. My dream was to become a husband, a father, and a public servant. To achieve that vision, I had a plan of action. Maybe you dream of owning your own media or communications business, serving as a reporter or document, uh, documentarian, or becoming a public relations professional. Whether it is joining a professional organization that will give you the networking contacts or going back to school to get an advanced degree, you must have a plan. What is your dream? Now is the time to begin thinking about how you are going to implement your plan to achieve your goal in life. Second, remember that you must work hard for your success. There is no substitute for hard work. Unless you are very fortunate, your first job will not be president. Let me repeat that. I don't think you heard me. Unless, <laughs> remember that you must work hard for your success. There is no substitute for hard work. Unless you are very fortunate, your first job will not be president of the company. So you must be prepared to start in an entry level position and earn your promotions. Third, be persistent. Learn from your mistakes. Never be afraid to fail. As my dear deceased mother used to say, nothing beats a failure but a try. Fourth, have patience. Life goes by quickly. Take the time to enjoy the process and experience the ups and downs. Do not be in a hurry to get nowhere. Fifth, be relentless in your pursuit of excellence. Excel in whatever you choose to do. Do not settle for being good. Try to be the best at what you do in life. Six, have faith. Have faith in your education and more importantly, faith in yourself. Last but certainly not least, you must be a beacon of hope for young children. In a nation where young people represent more than half of the population, it is more important that you be a role model for those who will follow you. Your challenge is to inspire and motivate those around you. We are all standing on the shoulders of those who have come before us. By sitting here today, you are proof that you believe in the promise of communication, the promise of education, and the promise of democratic traditions. Your diploma is a gateway. It is an opportunity for you to spread the culture, ideas, and values of your beautiful country through communication. It is an opportunity for you to share the democratic principles that you and your countrymen and women value. It is an opportunity for you to share in just, fair, and balanced manner the ideas, issues, and values of a democratic nation. Ghana is in a very unique position in Africa. Your country is proof that democracy fosters a positive environment to build a community in a stable, productive, and prosperous way. You must continue to encourage your nation to support, foster, and advance communications. It is through the valuation of communications that your country can continue to prosper and maintain its democratic tradition. You are the next generation of leaders, thinkers, and innovators in Ghana. It is up to you to take what you have learned and, and apply it in a productive way, uh, which will continue to elevate Ghana and the rest of Africa. In closing, I leave you with a quote from Benjamin Mays, who was a great educator, former president of Morehouse College and a mentor to Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Dr. Mays once said, it must be borne in mind that the tragedy of life does not lie in not reaching your goal. The tragedy lies in having no goal to reach. It is not a calamity to die with dreams unfulfilled, but it is a calamity not to dream. It is not a disgrace not to reach the stars, but it is a disgrace not to have the stars to reach for. Not failure, but low aim is a sin. When you consider your future and that of your family and your country, think about what you can contribute to elevate and better your community. Once you leave this ceremony today, you are no longer students in a traditional sense, but rather professionals who will continue to be seekers of knowledge. Continue to challenge yourself and those around you to learn and understand more about a subject, an issue, or a problem. Know that limitations are only those that you place on yourself. 
Embrace your freedom to dream and hold fast to your aspirations and never let anything or anyone de deter you from reaching your highest star. You are the future of your country. It is up to you to lead the next generation and to leave them an inheritance of peace, stability and prosperity. Good luck and do something great with your tomorrow. Wow, what a speech. I think he deserves another round of applause. Thank you very much, Dr. McDavis. We are greatly inspired.